This is a Sports Catastrophe production. Hey there, how there, ho there, it's Jeff Cutter and I'm welcoming you to another Sports Catastrophe birthday boy. And the birthday boy for today, October the 17th, is an F1 driver who is driving for Alfa Romeo right now. He's 42 years old, he's still in F1. He won the 2007 Formula 1 title world championship for Ferrari. He's taken a pair of second places in 2003 and 2005, and some thirds in 08, 12, and 18. He has 103 podium finishes, only one of one of five drivers to do so. And he's won 21 uh, races. He actually spent nine years in Formula 1 and then left to take part of the World Rally Championship for a few years, and then back to Formula 1. He actually broke the record for most starts in Formula 1 history. So anyway, he started as a driver in 2001 for Sauber. Then he went to McLaren, where he was, McLaren Mercedes, where he was a runner-up to Shumi, I mean, Michael Schumacher, and Fernando Alonso. Raikkonen would move to Ferrari for 2007. And then he won the title. And then Raikkonen left Ferrari and the Spar after 2009, and then he came back to F1 for Lotus, and Ferrari got him back in 2000 for the 2014 season. Until 2018, he played. He was with Ferrari, and then he went to Alfa Romeo, and he's about to retire this year, hopefully. But you never know. So Raikkonen was given a chance to play for Sauber in the 2001 season. And Raikkonen was given his F1 super license, despite the fact he was kind of inexperienced. But in his debut, he scored one, one point in his, two, in his debut at the 2001 Australian Grand Prix. Sadly, though, he was asleep three minutes before the race. But he did okay. Four times he scored in the points. And then McLaren wanted him to have a chance. Taking the seat left by double world champion and fellow Finn, Mika Hakkinen. Hakkinen actually said that to McLaren, they said, if you want to win, get the Finn. That being Raikkonen. Raikkonen would score a podium finish in his first race with McLaren, the 2002 Australian Grand Prix. He, he held his own. He would finish the season sixth place in the standings. So, anyway. Raikkonen thought he won the Brazilian Grand Prix. According to the rules, the winner is decided by the race order as of two laps before the race stopped. Because the race was stopped at number 55. However, there was evidence that Giancarlo Fisichella was on lap 56, so that meant that Fisichella won was ranking in second. So, anyway, Raikkonen tried his best and all that. Raikkonen was facing Michael Schumacher for the title, but unfortunately, Schumi won. But Raikkonen did take second place. That's not bad. Raikkonen would do much better in 2005. Of course, Raikkonen won the Canadian Grand Prix and then didn't take part in the next race, the U.S. Grand Prix, because of all that Archie Bargy. So Raikkonen got his seventh title, seventh one of the season in 2005. So, so Raikkonen <clears throat> did quite well. The 2007 season would be the year he got the thing. He won his first Grand Prix with Ferrari. Becoming the first driver since Nigel Mansell in 1989 to do that. Mansell did. Mansell won with Ferrari? That doesn't make sense. That can't be right. 
anyway, the Malaysian Grand Prix, well, that he didn't do so well. With 10 races left, Raikkonen was behind the young, hot rookie, Lewis Hamilton, in the Drivers' Championship. Raikkonen would win the French Grand Prix over his teammate and Brazilian Felipe Massa. Of the British Grand Prix, Raikkonen won easily. So Raikkonen. I love you, Raikkonen. So anyway, Raikkonen did well. And in Japan, Raikkonen took second place, took third place at the Chinese Grand Prix. Raikkonen won his fifth race of the season and revived his title hopes. The last race in Brazil would have a three-way title battle for the first time since 1986. So Hamilton, Alonso, and Raikkonen were in there. Raikkonen won the Brazilian Grand Prix. And thanks to Hamilton and Alonso's results, Raikkonen only won by one point ahead of those two. Alonso took third in the race. Hamilton took seventh. And that's the last time that a Ferrari driver has won the World Drivers' Championship. Wow. 2007. So Raikkonen had a few things, then left to do rally cars, and then came back to Lotus. At first he tried to go to Williams, but Lotus signed him. And then he went back to Ferrari, which was shocking. You know, he had a bad relationship with Ferrari, but he still did pretty well. And then he has been to Alfa Romeo, and he said he's going to retire. Well, unfortunately, Raikkonen tested positive for COVID on the weekend of the Dutch Grand Prix and was replaced by Robert Kubica at the Dutch and Italian Grand Prix. So Raikkonen is trying to do much better. Well, Raikkonen's personal life, he met a Finnish model by the name of Jenny Dahlman and the couple married in 2004. They separated and divorced by 2014. And then Raikkonen became engaged to a fitness model. And has a son and daughter. So, thanks a lot of things. So, he has a good persona and all that. So, not bad for his racing career. I can't think Nigel Mansell wasn't for our 89% Grand Prix. That can't be right. Because I know Prost and, unless Prost and Senna didn't race for Ferrari. I thought they, was Ferrari when they said. I guess Mansell was part of Ferrari, which was weird. But yeah, so, all right. I get the point, I get the point. Anyway, Kimi Rekinen is a great driver. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond, I do.